People who buy cigarettes in Nevada may soon be paying an extra $1.80 tax if one lawmaker has his way. Smokers will be paying significantly more per pack than the $0.40 cents tax first backed by Governor Brian Sandoval. It is currently written SB483 mandates an $0.80 cents per pack tax on cigarettes. Lawmakers are looking to amend the bill to $1.80 per pack. The tax talk is aimed at tackling Nevada's $144 million budget gap. Based on cigarette sales, it's estimated the higher rate would generate $111 million in extra tax revenue, reducing the budget shortfall to $33 million. Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman is commenting on the latest news that the Department of Energy has approved the shipment of low-level nuclear waste to Nevada for disposal. She says it's intolerable for Nevada to continue to be the nation's dump for nuclear waste. Goodman says she wants federal money used to find ways to neutralize the radioactive waste at the sites where it has been generated and to store it there. The potent uranium waste is set to be shipped from Oak Ridge National Laboratory in Tennessee to the Area 5 landfill at the Nevada National Security Site. The radioactive waste was created by government defense operations. A bill allowing Nevada to increase speed limits on 80 miles per hour on some roads has passed the assembly and now goes to the governor for consideration. Assembly members voted 31 to 11 to approve SB2 on Tuesday. The measure would allow the Nevada Department of Transportation to increase highway speed limits of up to 80 miles per hour if it chooses. Existing Nevada law allows a top speed of 75 miles per hour. Representatives from Nevada's Transportation Department testified against the bill and said it would work against programs to limit traffic fatalities. The measure passed out of the Senate on a 16-4 vote in April. Nevada senators have passed a bill backed by Governor Brian Sandoval that would implement a broad anti-bullying initiative through Nevada's school system. Senators voted 18-1 to 1 on Monday to approve SB 504, which would create an office for a safe and respectful learning environment within the Nevada Department of Education. It would also strengthen reporting requirements for bullying incidents and create a 24-hour hotline and website for submitting complaints. The bill now heads to the Assembly. Sandoval's budget proposes allocating $36 million over the next two years to hire one school social worker for every 250 students and execute the goals of the anti-bullying office. That financial request has yet to garner final legislative approval. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada. Hi, it's Josh with Great Computer Deals, Prompt's number one computer superstore. It's time for another quick tutorial. What is a router? Whenever you have internet access, the service usually comes into your home as a network cable. You can then plug this into any computer and you're ready to go. But what if you want to allow multiple devices to connect to the internet at the same time? This is where a router comes in. Plug your internet service into the router first. You'll then have multiple places to physically connect your computers and unlimited connections via the wireless or Wi-Fi that the router is transmitting around your property. Be sure to set up a password for your router. Otherwise, people in range will be able to connect to the internet for free on your dime. Still needing help? At Great Computer Deals, you'll find friendly faces ready to assist without all the tech talk. Stop by the store. We're on Highway 372 across from Pizza Hut. Or call us at 990-8833. Thanks, Josh. Can't afford to go to the dentist? There are plans available for three local dentist offices. This is a discount dental plan. It's not insurance, okay? But there are dentists, lots of them in Vegas and three of them in Pahrump, that agree to work for the amount of the fee schedule listed in the brochure. I've been selling insurance for 21 years in Pahrump, and I don't sell something until I know it works. So I tried it. And I got an x-ray, cleaning, and a full mouth exam, and I paid $75. And so this is a membership that you join to get a discount with dentists that have agreed to accept these fees. Exactly right. The next thing I'm doing is I'm getting a three-tooth partial for $525. And so what dentists here in town have agreed to these fees? The three. Easy Dental, behind the fireworks place. Uh, affordable Dental, behind Albertsons and five star at 1841 Calvada. What is the yearly membership fees? $60 for one person per year. 
and $80 for a man and wife. And if they happen to be younger and need it, children under 26 are free. And how can people find out more information? Is there a number to call? They can find a brochure or they can call me on my cell at 910-1011. And let's join Courtney Salmon with Weekend Sports. Weekend Sports is brought to you by Wolfenstein Construction. The Pahrump Valley Boys Golf Team is headed to the state championship tournament. They played in the two-day regional tournament in Sierra California, and after those two days had a combined team score of 9-10. Faith Lutheran and Boulder City will also be going to the state championship to face the northern teams Elko, Spring Creek, and Truckee. The state tournament is also two days in, in Truckee, and it starts on Monday. Good luck, guys. The PVHS baseball season has come to an end. The Trojans competed in the regional tournament, but lost their first two games and were eliminated. They played number one ranked and undefeated Boulder City on Tuesday and lost 10 to zero, then played Chaparral High School yesterday and lost five to two. Congratulations to them for a great year and good luck to all of those graduating seniors. The boys and girls track and field teams will be competing tomorrow at the regional track meet to determine which teams and individuals will qualify for the state championship meet. More than 11,000 fans during the two-day professional bull riding event in Colorado Springs saw six-year veteran Rubens Barbosa earn his first PBR victory Sunday during the professional bull riders built for tough rumble in the Rockies. Barbosa rode Palm Springs for 87 and a half points, not only to win the event, but also the build for tough championship round. This moved him from 31st to 13th in the PBR World Standings. Next up, they come to Las Vegas for the last Cowboy Standing and Cowboy Spring Break, May 22nd through the 24th at the MGM Outdoor Arena. This is the biggest event other than the World Finals in October. Thanks, Judge Whitaker, for that information. Las Vegas is looking to get a professional basketball team. A California-based group is trying to form a basketball team that would take all top prospect basketball players that may not want to go to college and aren't eligible for the NBA draft and employ them for $700,000 for one year. They would play 35 games in Las Vegas and 15 games in Europe against European teams. Now, in order to be able to declare for the NBA draft, you must be 19 years old and a high school graduate. This would allow those top athletes to bypass college, earn money right out of high school, and become eligible for the NBA draft. However, it could cause some major issues with the UNLV running Rebel basketball team because those prospects likely would bypass even coming to UNLV. The Pahrump Valley Speedway is back to its regular schedule. Races start this Saturday at 7 p.m. This has been Weekend Sports. I'm Courtney Zalman with News 46. Thanks so much, Courtney. Clark County Commissioners and USO representatives turned the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign red, white, and blue in recognition of Military Appreciation Month. Clark County is home to two active military bases, more than 32,000 active duty troops, and more than 150,000 veterans. These lights are another sign to show how thankful we are as a community and a nation for their willingness to defend and fight for the liberties we all enjoy. A new detailer has acquired Prompt Mobile Detailing. We caught up with the new owner, Keone Shope. I purchased it from uh, Judy Fargus, and it was recently called uh, Prompt Valley Mobile Detailing. Now I've purchased it from her, and now it's called uh, Touch of Aloha. So how's it going? So far, so good. Today is my second day. I'm here with you, going to do a commercial, so we'll see how it goes. So you tell me some of your specialties. Uh, specialties are I cater to veterans. I cater to the um, elderly. Handicap um, is basically anybody that wants a good service. You have any specials going on right now? I do. I have $10 off for veterans and handicap. Mm -hmm. I also have a Mother's Day special coming up, which is also $15 off any purchase of any wash. Wow. And so uh, you come to people's homes, businesses. It's mobile, right? Yeah, absolutely. Businesses, residential, um, you name it, I'll come to you. So that is um, something that is very convenient, especially for those who are at work, who, who don't have time to drop off their car or, or another person to help pick them up. Right. You can be at the gym. You can be shopping. Just give me a time frame of what you want done, how long I can tell you how long it's going to be, and we can work it from there. Let's talk about your services. Absolutely. I have a basic service, which includes in and out wipe down, mm -hmm. wheels, tire care, and uh, wheel wells. And then what else do you offer? I do offer a full detail, which is basically shampooing, headliner, buffing of the car, 
wash, wax, and vacuum, and all full detail. So you do RVs, boats, what I else? do RVs, boats, you name it. I'll do an airplane to your kid's Hot Wheel. Oh, there you go. And how do people contact you? Um, by, you can contact me by the flyer that I have out or business card. Uh, my phone number is 775-537-3451. We'll have your weather when we return. News 46 weather is brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. Hello and welcome back to News 46. Today is Thursday, May 7th. Today we had partly cloudy skies and those high winds again. We had a high of 73 degrees today. Your average temperature around this time of year is 86 degrees. Winds were coming from the south today at 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 39 miles per hour. So we definitely did have those high winds outside today. The evening index today was 8, which is very high. Humidity was at 17% today. Sunrise was at 546 this morning, and the record high back in 1989 was 102 degrees. Well, tonight we'll have partly cloudy skies. There's also a slight chance of some showers or thunderstorms this evening, so be looking out for that. We'll have a low of 44 degrees this evening. Your average temperature on this time of year is 63 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south-southwest at 14 miles per hour with gusts up to 24 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 44 percent. Sunset will be around 737 this evening. And the record low back in 1938 was 41 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have partly cloudy skies and there's about a 20 percent chance of rain tomorrow as well. Also on the overpass heading into Las Vegas, there is a winter weather warning effective tomorrow. So if you're heading into Vegas, you might want to choose an alternate route. We'll have a high of 61 degrees tomorrow and a low of 42 degrees. Winds will be coming from the south southwest at 23 miles per hour with gusts up to 37 miles per hour. Humidity will be at 40 percent. Sunrise will be at 545 tomorrow morning and the UV index will be 8, which is very high. For our seven day forecast, again, partly cloudy skies and about a 20% chance of rain. Those partly cloudy skies should be clearing up around this Sunday. We'll have nice sunny weather then and that sun should be continuing through the rest of the week with a few clouds on Monday and Tuesday and then again next Thursday. Your high temperatures will be starting off in the low 60s. That'll be going up into the mid 60s, hitting 86 degrees on Monday, working its way back down into those low 80s around mid next week. Your low temperatures will be looking at a similar pattern starting off in the low 40s. That'll be going up into the mid 50s early next week, going back down into those low 50s mid next week. Thanks so much, Noah. Some interesting weather. May 8th is free Friday at Fitness for 10. That's tomorrow. Guests can use the club for free. Classes are open to all members and their guests too. For more information, you can call Fitness for 10 at 751 6683. And we want to remind everybody that the Prump Valley Chamber of Commerce Biz Expo is tomorrow, Friday and Saturday at the Prump Nugget in their event center. Come on down and say hi to us. KPVM TV and KA's Country Radio will be down there with our booth. And that's going to do it for this edition of News 46 from everyone up here at KPVM TV and of course KA's Country 95.9 on your FM dial. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow.